Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another video. I am on my way to grab Raven right now. She is going to be going back to a different vet for another ultrasound. Hopefully we can get some answers. So she's breakfast here. She's finished. Her puppy's cleaning up the extras. So I'm going to have to grab her and load her up. I've already got the trailer set up because yesterday we took Gus to a birthday party. He was a special guest. So we're going to get her loaded up. One of the reasons I wanted to get a second ultrasound was because I have spent a ton of money on this is Timothy hay. Oftentimes there's a fungus in fescue hay and fescue grass um, that can actually cause a lot of problems for pregnant mares. It can cause abortion, problems with milk, longer gestation times, a couple other things. So Timothy is the next cheapest hay that I could get. It's about double what we pay for our fescue hay, which is what we normally stock. It's more affordable and we have a lot of horses with metabolic issues. A lot of very expensive hay here and I thought instead of just going ahead and feeding it because we didn't get to actually see the foal on the last ultrasound, I'm going to try another vet, see if they could see anything differently, spend more time exploring around. Um, so we've got the appointment today to take Raven and see if we can get maybe a couple more answers than we've already had. Let me close my door here. Yeah. Okay. You okay? There you go. Hey, sweet girl. See? Good job. You're okay, sweetie. She's a little heavy weight when it comes to yeah. Girl, where are you going? And she she actually lets me touch her um Utter. her udders like unsedated. Oh good. That doesn't bother her at all. Yeah, really weird time of year. This is the juicy stuff right here, guys. The vet is going in on the outside of her belly, trying to see through the tissues using this ultrasound. Anything that shows up as black will be fluid, and that's how we know that there's a baby, a foal, an embryo, whatever going on in there. Looks a little suspicious. Yeah, I was like, I mean, she got a tumor or some, like a hernia or something, I don't know. I know, girls don't want to do your business. The vet was unable to positively diagnose a pregnancy from looking at the sides. We tried both sides, so we decided let's have her go in rectally and see if she can see anything, which would be unable to see if she was earlier on in a pregnancy coming from the sides. Okay. 
It's like three holes. That does not look good. <laughs> As you can imagine, at this point, things were not looking very good. But part of me was just thinking she would just angle some way and then voila, the uh, okay. hole would just appear. <laughs> That's bladder there? No, this is her ovary again. Okay, ovary again, okay. She may also be one that doesn't show through. So I'm back from the vet. I dropped Raven off in her field. Guys, that's the consensus is that she's currently not pregnant. Um, of course, there's always a slight chance that she could be and the vet just couldn't find it, but given her approximate size, really should have been able to visualize based on both the transabdominal and the transrectal ultrasounds. So at this point, we're going to proceed as if she's not pregnant. Um, we'll save the very expensive hay for maybe later in the season or if we ever, you know, have another pregnant mare, hay keeps for a while. So we'll make sure that that stays good. Just watch Raven in case there's any signs of change. But for now, she's not pregnant, which is what we wanted. Really, it's quite expensive to take care of a pregnant mare in just terms of like feeding and fed appointments and then the foal and all those costs. So financially, we didn't want her to be pregnant, um, but we were prepared to take care of her if that was the case. So it doesn't look like we're going to be having a baby foal anytime soon. Guys, thank you so much for watching, joining us on this journey. I know so many of you guys thought she was pregnant. It may have just been that she's had babies over the years and her stomach has kind of just dropped and her muscles are relaxed because she's been used as a brood mare over the years. So. It is what it is. Thanks for coming on this journey, guys. We're gonna keep working with her, keep training her, um, just as we would all the other horses that we've got around here. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already, so we've got more videos on these guys and our other rescues. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.